Hello, I'm Dr. Roland Burton. We're here today in Springfield, Massachusetts, often called the City of Firsts. Today, we're going to talk about low back tracks, another first for the City of Springfield. I'm not only a chiropractor and the inventor of low back tracks, but I'm a chronic low back pain sufferer too. Today, we're gonna to go one-on-one -on -one with me so you can learn how low back tracks works and why it works. We're also going to discuss other stretches and techniques you can perform while using low back tracks. Always remember, when trying low back tracks or any spinal traction device, always check with your chiropractor or primary care physician first to make sure your spine is healthy enough to do so. Now let's get going. Before using low back tracks, it's always best to relax. That includes wearing comfortable clothing and also performing low back tracks on a comfortable surface. It's best to relax for a minute or two before even attempting to traction your spine. That way your body can melt into the surface that you're laying on. Your spine can relax and your muscles around your spine can relax. When you're laying in this posture flat with your legs out, your low back has a curve in it. This curve makes it harder to traction or stretch. So simply by changing the posture, lifting the legs like this, and approximating your heels towards your buttocks, this flattens that curve in your spine and allows the traction to occur more easily and more naturally. This simple change in posture is one of the keys to why low back tracks work so effectively. This posture with the spinal curve flattened allows traction to occur much easier. Other devices attempt to traction the low back from the bottom with a cable attached to your waist, wrapped around your waist, to some sort of power device here and pulls. Low back tracks is the first device to try and go above the waist and push towards your feet. Pushing is easier than pulling. Low back tracks, even though it looks like a simple set of bicycle handlebars, is designed with a purpose. The thigh contacts are designed two-tone in color. The top pane in half indicates the top part of the thigh contact. The stainless steel part indicates the bottom part of the thigh contact. I'm going to hand this to our model and let her set up in the low back tracks posture. The center point is very important with low back tracks. It is designed to be flat so you get the most effective traction possible. The way it stays flat is a good wrist position with your wrists in line with the handles. If for some reason your wrist position is wrong and your wrists fall below the handle, the point will tend to point up and you'll feel the stretch more in your low back. If you go above the handle with your wrists, the point will point down and you'll feel the traction more in your mid back. It's best to keep those wrists nice and flat and in line with the handles pushing right towards your heels. Some people like to elevate their elbows and that helps them keep their wrists right in line with the handle. The treatment protocol for low back tracks is simple. You should try to push the force towards your feet. Hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then relax and take a minute or two to relax in between each repetition. Then repeat it again with the relaxing in between. And repeat this process about four to six times. Always remember to breathe normally when using low back tracks. It's best to try using low back tracks for three weeks on a daily basis. You will get your maximum improvement by using it daily for three weeks. The main problem we hear from people using low back tracks is that they don't immediately feel the stretch in their low back. That is because most chronic low back pain sufferers are so tight in their low back, they first feel the stretch in their mid back. After three weeks of daily use, you will start to feel the stretch more in your low back and you will be more adept at targeting exactly in your spine where you want to hit. Other problems we have heard with low back tracks is the point varying. 
That goes into detail in the instruction manual that is included in the box and is also in PDF format on our website. So in case you lose it, you can print up a whole new instruction manual. This is an alternate posture to perform low back tracks in. You have your legs draped over an ottoman or a couch. This may be desirable for people who have knee problems or people just not comfortable with bending their knees that much. Always remember to scoot your buttocks as close to the ottoman or couch as possible. This forms more of a 90 degree angle and that will make the traction force much more effective. The treatment protocol for this posture is the same as postures we've previously reviewed. Low back tracks is not only a spinal traction device, it also improves other stretches. Using low back tracks as a lever makes stretching easier. Our first demonstration will be the knees to chest. Most people use this stretch for their low back. See how easy the lever makes pulling your knees to your chest. You can virtually do it with only a few fingers. You can also rotate from this position to stretch your hips. Alternatively, if you would like to do just one leg at a time, you can loop the point around the leg and pull the knee to the chest. Again, once you pull it to the chest, you can rotate side to side. If pulling on your knee is uncomfortable like that, you can always loop low back tracks behind your knee and perform the same exercises with a little bit more pull. Finally, we can stretch the hamstrings simply by looping low back tracks over the foot and pulling, avoiding the unnecessary stretching and strain of your back to reach your leg. This stretch targets the hip area. This stretch targets the abductors, extensors, and external rotators of the hip. Please be cautioned to do this stretch slowly and easily. This stretch is very powerful and can cause soreness if done too aggressively. Low back tracks make stretching easier. Just to review, even though low back tracks is a simple looking device, remember you're stretching the sensitive tissue surrounding the spine and this tissue does not like to be stretched. Like any new workout, you may become sore the first few times you use low back tracks. Use it consistently for three weeks and that'll minimize the soreness. Always remember to breathe normally during use and always, always remember to relax before and after each use. Thank you for purchasing low back tracks. We sincerely hope it does for you what it has for us. If you happen to lose this instructional manual, it is available 24 seven at our website in printable PDF format. Good luck with low back tracks and have a great day.